Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMode. Really interesting problem today. We need to multiply these two values. We have 4 to the power 52 and 25 to the power 49. On the first side, this problem is real hard because we have a really huge power, different power, different base in both cases. But I want to show you a really good trick. How can we solve this easily? First of all, this 52 is really good because we have 49 and this 52 is really good to write as 49 plus 3. Take a look closely. We can write this 4 to the power 52 as 4 cube times 4 to the power 49 and times 25 to the power 49. Why can I write this? Because if we go in a reverse way, we can write it as 4 to the power 3 plus 49. So this is the first really good property, really good rule in this case. And let's go further. And right now we need to know the second really good property. If we have different bases but same power, we can easily group this and raise to this power. So I write this 4 cube at first and times I group this in parentheses. We have 4 times 25 to the power 49. I group this. This is second really good property. This is the first one, this is the second one. Okay, what are we going to do next? Of course, we can easily multiply our numbers in our, in our parentheses. So we will have 4 times 25, it will be 100. So it's really good. We have 4 cube times 100 to the power 40, to the power 49. Okay, I want to simplify this a little bit in our like casual, in our common case, when we have and some number times 10 to the thumb power. So we have 100, we have this, we can rate this. So 4 cube equal to 64 and 100 is equal to 10 square and raised to the power 49. Okay, and right here we look at this our third property because we need to multiply these, these powers right here. If we rate this like that, if we have parentheses, we can easily multiply these powers and we will have 64 times 10 to the power 98, we just multiplying it. And it looks like our final answer, but we can easily use our final simplifying step right here. We can bring dot right here on the left and then we need to add 10, multiply by 10. So as a result, 6.4 times 10 to the power 99. And this is our answer. As you can see, without any calculators, without any like telephones right here, we can easily this is our final answer because we right here we have 99 zero so it's it's our final answer and on the first side this problem is real hard but we find our final answer easily and without any problems so thank you for watching subscribing i really appreciate it. if you put like write any comment it's it's easy for you but it inspires me a lot and it helps me a lot to make a new content thank you for watching see you in the next videos